Hey guys, in this session I'm going to show you guys how to do a quick multi-layer cut here. Uh, just covering some basics in Illustrator on the iPad. Alright, so we want to click on Create New. Once you click on Create New, uh, go into Illustration. Uh, you can pretty much click uh, Poster there if you want to, to start off with, because we're going to change some of the, the settings anyway. So we're going to call this uh, my laser, what is it, my multi-layer cut or something like that. You want to make sure you give give a name for it. Uh, change the units to millimeters because we don't like working with anything else. And also make sure you change the number from uh, for the width to be 810 and for the height to be 450 because that is the size of our laser bed. Also making sure that our color mode is in RGB. Uh, we're good to go. We create file. This might take like a minute sometimes. It might take really fast like that, but that's basically it. Cool, so for the shape that we were talking about earlier is what we want to be doing is we want to be creating uh, a square that's uh, 200 mils wide, right? So we're gonna click on this little tool here um, and there's our square. Now, if we kind of, you know, when we use our mouse, I mean, I'm using a mouse, but if you're using an Apple Pencil, sometimes you can get to the pink line and if you get to the pink line and it shows that, then that's a diagonal, which basically says that this is a perfect square. But if you're in a rush, you could hold, I'm just gonna get rid of this, you could hold this button here, if you press on it, a blue line is uh, like this white ring is gonna come and if as you drag it out, you, it's gonna kind of expand. And what that allows is, it allows you to create perfectly symmetrical shapes. So if I do like a circle, where is my circle? Hang on, let's go to circle. Yeah, and if I hold that button down, I'm gonna get a perfect circle. Otherwise, it's gonna be looking like this. All right, so what we wanna be doing is we wanna actually make sure that we are getting a square to start off with, and that square to be 200 uh, mils wide. So I'm gonna hold this button down. Now, I'm in a bit of a rush, so I don't wanna be sitting here dragging and checking to see when it's gonna reach 200. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. Head over to the properties menu. Uh, there's a little lock button, make sure you lock it, and then change the width to 200. So what we've got here is a, a, a square that is 200 mils by 200 mils. So I'm gonna move this uh, just to that edge there like that. Uh, that's gonna allow me to have that um, square there all the time. So this is gonna be my first layer. Now my second layer, I wanna make sure that it's the same size. So I'm gonna click on this little button, this plus button here, which is a duplicate button. And as you can see, I can just create a duplicate straight away. Now, one other thing to notice is that we want to make sure that our shapes have no fill. Right now, it's got a white fill. We want to click on this to change this to no fill. And also, we want the black stroke, that's the outline, we want it to be red. So as you can see, that's what we're looking at. Cool. We're going to draw a little sun, uh, a little uh, circle in here to make a sun for us. So we're going to click on the rectangle tool and get our circle out. And once again, I'm gonna hold this little button at the bottom left, which is gonna give me a perfect circle. I'm not happy with the size of the circle. Click on properties. I might actually change that to about 35. There we go, that looks good. And of course, maybe I might decide to move my sun somewhere here. Okay, let's do it there. Cool. Next, I wanna do my um, mountains. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to once again create a copy of this um, shape. But what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to copy the circle and the square. Right? I'm going to duplicate it. Um, and I'll show you guys why I kind of did that because I actually want to make sure that I know when I put my mountain that it's not going to kind of overlap um, and dis make the sun disappear or things like that. All right? So that's what I've done it like that. Um, but I'll show you guys anyway later on how I'm not gonna I'm leaving it there as a reference that's all so inside this I'm gonna put my mountains um, so let's say I'm gonna go with a couple of triangles okay let's see there's my first mountain uh, and then I'm gonna have my second mountain there something like that just doing it kind of quickly here guys now, if I was to leave it like this, what I'm gonna get is I'm gonna get a square piece of paper with a couple of triangles cut out and a circle cut out, all right? So what I wanna do is I wanna create a frame. 
I want to create another frame. So I'm going to get this square and I'm going to duplicate it. And as you can see, it says it's duplicated. And I'm going to change its size from 200 to maybe 195. Uh, maybe 195. Yeah, no, let's go 190 then. Just make the frame a little bit bigger. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I want to actually put those two little um, mountains there. So this is the first step. I'm going to show you guys various tricks on Illustrator. This is the first one I'm going to show you guys. All right. So let's actually do this mountain here. I'm going to make this mountain a little bit big, kind of join it there. I'm going to click on this and maybe join it there. Let's make this mountain a little bit wider. There we go. All right. So again, if you think about it, it's like right now there's no joining there. So which means all of these shapes are going to just come out in pieces. So I'm going to select my two triangles here and there's a sh little um, tool here called combine shapes. So I could click on it and I could actually combine my two triangles together as one shape. But the problem is it's still going to get cut out. I mean, the laser is going to go through this red line and this red line, which means I'm going to get a piece. So I could actually put both of those. Oh, no, don't want to do that. I want to select the triangle and I want to select the inside square. And once again, I can go to combine shapes. And basically what I'm really looking for is the minus front here. Because if I choose intersect, then it's going to come up with a hole. And I don't want a hole. I want this to be the hole. So I click on this and I let it be. And as you can see, that's kind of formed a nice little shape. So I'm going to show you guys another way of doing this as well. Um, so if you are kind of, um, let me just kind of drop it here just to show you guys how we can actually do another method. So I'm going to take the square here. I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to convert it to 190. There we go. So the other way you could have done it is by actually using the pen tool. So you can click on the pen tool and let's say I'm going to go somewhere here. I'm going to drop a few points. And notice what I do with those points now. So the middle point, I'm just going to drag it up. So there's my mountain. The middle, this one, I'm going to maybe drag it up here. And this one I could drag, I don't know, something like that. So as you guys can see, this is just another way of doing it without combined tools. And I guess this one is really useful if you want to smooth things out. Because what you could do is you could actually click on the corners and you can actually smooth it out if you want. So how do you do it? You click on the little pen tool. And notice how this is this little tool here will actually convert it into, if you double click it, it'll convert it into a curve. And if you double click it again, it'll convert it into a sharp point. So let me actually leave that as a curl for now. All right, now that we've done that, we have got our shape there, but the circles, we don't really need the two circles. So I'm just gonna get rid of them because I just used it as a reference more than anything else but maybe not yet because I want to draw my um, plane first and then maybe I'll actually do that. Uh, yeah, actually, let's do the plane first. So um, what I'm going to do is, let's see, do I want the mountains for this one? No, I just need the, actually, no, I don't need them. I only need this part here. So let's duplicate this. All right, so here we go. That's my third, uh, third layer, fourth layer, well, fourth layer. And I want to have a, uh, a plane going through here. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to once again duplicate, reduce the size to 190. So I get that lovely frame. And I'm going to draw a very ugly plane, by the way. Um, I do apologize about it, but it is what we're going to do. So let's go with the pen tool and I'm going to click on the inside um, square first. So I want to select the inside square. Then I want to add a couple of um, points where I want this plane to be at. So the plane is, let's say we're going to drag it out like this. As I said to you guys, this is going to be a very badly drawn plane, but um, you know what? Let's just go with it. There we go. 
what do we have here uh you know what i think i'm gonna leave this ugly plane like this uh let, maybe i should just smooth it out a little bit let's smooth it out a little bit no don't want that that just looks wonky no don't want that too uh you know what like i'm just gonna leave the train as it is right now for now guys okay so what that means is let's click outside just to see what this plane looks like uh, that's what the plane is gonna look like but we're gonna actually get rid of the sun now because we don't really want that sun otherwise we're gonna get a whole lot of pieces so let's get rid of that uh, and then that's our plane sorted now we need a river um, and for the river I might actually use the um, the mountain background so what I'm gonna do is maybe I'll choose the bottom one here and I'm gonna duplicate it and let's go here now see how this particular square this square is actually connected to the mountain so if I delete it the mountains are gone all right but I'm gonna leave it in there instead I'm gonna to go to the outside square and I'm gonna create another duplicate and let's say I'm gonna drop it to 190 So let's actually work with this shape here. And we want the river, so let's put a couple of points here first. So we're gonna take this, can we take it to the mountain like that? Oh, we can, that's cool, I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna take the starting of the river to that mountain right there. So you can kind of see what I'm trying to do here. Perfect. And maybe smooth it out a little bit. So let's get some waves happening in there. Uh, like that. There we go. And maybe even take it down a little bit further. Maybe we might even take this further down like that. Let's smooth out some more. So we can always add as many um, curls, or like as many points as you want, guys. Like you don't need to kind of go be stingy with the points. So we can do as many points as you need to kind of get that nice shape happening. Cool. I think I'm going to leave it like that. Uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the mountain, get rid of it. And there we go. Now that river should kind of like nicely kind of line up on top of each other. Okay, so let's see. We've got our ugly plane there, we've got our river there, and we've got a mountain. Of course, we don't want the sun in that mountain, so let's get rid of that. And we're not gonna go with the sharp mountains, we're gonna go with the curved mountains. So let's actually get rid of this thing entirely. And now we have our five cards here. And notice how these shapes are actually outside the laser bed. So we're gonna kind of bring it in uh, nicely so that they fit in so that we can actually print it out um, really easily. Let's check the cards here. What have we got? So 614 by 410. That should be plenty of room there. And I think we are ready to go cut this out. So let's go see what it looks like. And one last thing I forgot. Don't forget to change your stroke to 0 0.001. And of course that didn't work. Let's try that again. There we go. You can kind of see it, but it is there. And that's ready for laser cutting now. Don't forget to share it to Jarvis and then you're good to go.